Yeah, yeah I, I, I will be presenting how the package, uh, our package work will be called seek package. I don't know if is a spatial interpolation cringing, reading seek, which is maybe not a good name, <laughs> <laughs> but yet, yeah, you know what? <laughs> Sometimes it happens. <laughs> Mostly, the thing that I am going to tell you is, and the data we we'll use is in this paper, we call uh, 0.9.8 our our package, we get a, we have to do a version number, but the version in here sometimes is a strange. I don't know. We we didn't feel to to call in 1.0 to to bold, so we get <laughs> so. <laughs> uh, this is the way we present. Uh, usually, one of the way we present components. So our package has actually four components but the main three components are those one we have uh, 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 CKU this does the job to uh, to estimate the the experimental variogram you see what is in input and what is in output in information that for other things is missing but we have uh, we will ask for your help also to help us to to complete our documentation, maybe sometimes should be always give it things like this one. Uh, if we take uh, the station shape file, meaning the position where the shape the, the stations are, and uh, the measurement data in the stations, and what gives out give up, gives out a distance, a reciprocal distance uh, vector and the experimental variogram through the distance corresponding to, the, corresponding to those uh, some points. So you have a, a scatter plot of a distance with uh, the, the experimental variogram, which actually are some point along the distance. Then we have this, this SIG TV, TV, which is not an Indian television. Uh, it is just a, a, a a, a component that has in, in its core 11 models of variograms and you can experiment some of them 11 models of variograms so you can uh, you can understand that uh, you uh, come in with the distances that uh, come out from the seek and you go go out with a theoretical semi variogram meaning that you actually you have some other parameters here that you have to fit the model of three parameters as you see one is the range one is the seal and the nugget i don't tell you right now what it is but uh, tomorrow we do some radiography meaning we explain what are these terms there are some more parameters to fit and uh, we go with the with this magic curve which is the theoretical variogram that allows us to solve the linear system <coughs> ck is the solver of the linear systems and gives you uh, uh, the measurement with the geographical information about the measurement saying that okay this is temperature where and it tells you also uh, where it is according to a certain project projection meaning that the result is a shape file uh, the, uh, the module number two you have to choose the one of the 11 model. Yeah, yes, you have to choose one of the 11 models. Yeah, not all the parameters are specified. Yeah, yeah you have 11 models. We, you have the, we, I show you, maybe also now, the, the, which are these 11 models, some of these 11 models, and, and you have to choose one of them. That is completely, in principle, one thing that uh, in building that paper we do we did a big simulation in which that we do we did automatically also that we choose automatically all the models we feed the models to the data the data the the, the model was choose automatically between the one as a parameter of the of the system at the end that we 
we select the best one. In principle, it's possible to do it. Yes. You have a minimum of number of stations for the. Yeah, creating uh, usually require uh, to have a number of stations uh, for giving a reasonable result. Otherwise, you have a very bad results. Yeah, if, yeah, if you have one station. Yeah, yeah. I was curious in yeah, this case. Yeah. How many? Uh, uh, our perception is that you need a, a long, uh, at least ten, ten, around 10 stations. And if there are nine, it's okay. Yeah, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the, 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 to do this type of analysis is meaningful if you have a, quite, quite a, a good number of stations. And do you have uh, classes for theoretical variograms? Yeah. Can I plug uh, my theoretical variogram model inside the yeah. CPU? The, yeah, the theoretical, uh, 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 not outside as a component, but inside, inside. in the code. <coughs> inside in the code, the code is built in a way you don't touch, don't, you don't modify the code, but you add your extent. The code it, uh, can be extended, the internal code. Because the internal code, in, in the internal code is a thing that we also wrote in the paper. We <coughs> use some uh, called design patterns, mm -hmm. where everybody brings his class with this model and just add a new class. We have just to add, not to modify the previous code. This is, we think, a, a necessary features in this kind of things. That, for instance, in other code that we wrote in the past is not present. We c you cannot just plug in new codes, but it doesn't happen at the level of components. It happens inside the level of classes. So uh, we, when we use, this is the, the connection of the modules. The uh, 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 experimental variogram go to the uh, sick variogram, and then we have from here we have the map of we have the, the measurement point. Actually, we have two. You see other two uh, two components. One is called particle swarm. Then particle swarm is a calibrator. Is a, a thing that can be a component that helps you to uh, choo choose automatically the parameters of the model variograms. <laughs> In, uh, and uh, we have another component which is leave, an, leave one out, which is doing for doing cross-validation of the, of the, uh, of, of the uh, forecasting, to say you, which is the forecasting of the error. You can obviously one, one characteristic of modeling by components is that you can uh, uh, run part of them and, uh, in principle, do uh, uh, validate any of the component singularly, both from the informatics point of view and from the physics point of view. So here we take just one uh, one part of the previous graph. And what we do here, what we do here, we use particle form, but we simply e evaluate the theoretical semi variogram in, against the data, and we put as a result the <coughs> semi variogram. So here we are analyzing the theoretical semi variogram and how they work, and then you will you will do an, an experiment <coughs> like this one. Obviously, if you do the you. If you do by hand the thing, the initial guess with your variogram can be very wrong. So I put a far, far away <laughs> <laughs> in that thing. And the final, uh, the theoretical variogram optimized, the same class of variogram there, this bad Excel graphics that I hate, I say, for, I didn't say, <laughs> I didn't do myself, <coughs> but the tendency is to the worst. So. We uh, Excel do th does this uh, this bad type of uh, of, uh, of variogram. So the people that have mm, good tools for doing uh, for doing good drawings of the variogram, but 
does it in the same style of Excel just to reproduce <laughs> this thing. So this is a better way. So, so what do you have in the in the in the SIG package? You have eleven models for the semi-variogram. Four regions actually, because I just presented to you one region, but we have here four flavor of region. One is called ordinary region. One is called uh, uh, local uh, local region, meaning okay, we need at least ten stations, but we have one hundred stations. Should we use all the one hundred? Obviously, you are one, one station. You had a lot of interaction. The, the, the calculation time is growing. So if you are thinking that uh, the, the length scale of the correlation of the physical process is not so big, you don't go from here to China, or from here to Japan. You go from here, from 10 kilometers, you, you localize the search, the use of the stations for any point. And uh, the trend of aging means that uh, there are some variables like temperature which are strongly dependent from elevation and so we detect a trend of the temperature over our field of interest and that this trend can be local or can be global and then we subtract the trend and do the, cre the ordinary aging of the differences so we have four way of doing regions and two modes, one mode is at the station and the other mode is at the raster. So we have 11 for 4 is 44, for 2 is 88 way to, uh, um, to, to go. So for each, uh, each field of data that you have, you can do, you, you have 88 different type of, uh, uh, of alternative that you can do. Then you can realize that some of them give more or less the same results. So you get rid of them, you use always the same semi variogram <laughs> and things like that. But uh, you know, the first, the first, sometimes in life, is useful to know that you have different alternatives. Mm -hmm. Here I am explaining what I am doing. So, in, uh, in uh, ordinary preaching, all the measures I use, so I have the yellow point, is the point that I want, <coughs> well, I, I want to have. The measure, I can have the, the trend of aging here, uh, but I use all that stations and I, I get the, the, I get the rainfall there. Instead of things I have, if I have a precipitation, I can think that precipitation is due to convective cells or things like that. They are not so much extended, or if they are extended as some other some hundred of kilometers, long, no thousand of kilometers. So I limit to the station inside this circle. This is the thing, this is local reaching. Obviously, this can be run in real time. So we can have all the stuff you saw before, and here you see how that other thing, which is a long wave radiation budget due on Monday, and short wave radiation budget. Uh, you can think that you you don't need this this thing here in the radiation budget, but if you think that uh, long wave radiation is depending on temperature, you have a, to have a field of temperature to have it, to have the radiative answer back, so you get. The, the measurement, or you have from satellite, or you have from, from ground measurements, and, uh, and so in this case you use this one to interpolate. I don't remember anymore what is ah okay SAO ET is Shimansky or evapotranspiration. The one thing that you will see also. Or we you you can get in this you start to see more complicated. Uh, modeling solution, meaning that what we have done so far is, can be quite complicated, but can be complicated, become more and more complicated. And this is a full, more or less is uh, the, 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 the model 
uh, it is actually running for the Basilicata uh, real-time flood forecasting, where embedded reservoirs, potentiality, snow, are other components. Snow, we don't see snow here in this course, but if someone is interested, we, we can get separate talk about it. So here we are. Thank you.